Now that you've listened to the book, you're going to go ahead and read it for yourself and monitor and clarify as you read. I'm going to give you two examples of how I would do this. So I'm reading the book, Yes, We Are Latinos. My name is Jose Miguel, not Joe, not Mike. I am Cuban and Nicaraguan. I live in Tampa, Florida. I am Latino. Adios, Jose Miguel. Have a good day, hijo. Aprende mucho. Learn all you can. So I'm hearing some words in Spanish, and even though I can speak some Spanish, I don't know all the Spanish, so I want to stop and think about what are they talking about. So here on the left, I say, I was not sure about the words that were in Spanish. So to figure out what they mean, I'm going to keep reading. So it says, aprende mucho, learn all you can, just as he does every day. So after reading the words, learn all you can, I think aprende mucho might mean learn all you can. So I clarified the, what I read by reading the words around the Spanish words to figure out what they might mean. So now I'm going to continue reading. My grandfather comes to the door to say goodbye to me giving me advice as I leave for school. He says he wishes he had been able to do this for his own son, my father. The sky is covered with dark clouds, so I rush. Then I see grandfather and Jose Miguel. School is not far, but the rain could begin any minute. Here in Florida, the sky goes from blue to black in an instant, and you get soaked before you even realize it is raining. Roger catches up with me before the rain does. I would have rather got soaked. So I read that and I'm like, what does that mean? Why would Jose rather get soaked by the rain than talk to Roger? So I was not sure about why Jose Miguel would rather be soaked by rain. then talk to Roger. So I'm going to keep reading. He slaps me on the back, pretending to be friendly, but making sure it hurts. Made many tacos today, Miguel? He asked. So now that I've continued to read, I can see that Roger's kind of a bully. He slaps him and he does it hard. And then he says something mean to him about being Latino. So I clarified by continuing to read And I see that Roger is a bully. And that is why Jose did not want to walk with him and he'd rather be soaked by rain. So now I've shown you two examples of what I've done to clarify my reading. I've stopped, I've reread, and then I've read further to see if I could find meaning. And now you're gonna do this on the next couple of pages.